Coach Buchan begin the media conference by giving your thoughts about the game. We'll move on for more specific questions from the media. Go ahead, please. Okay. Well, I just wanted to give um, Wisconsin Rapids assumption a lot of credit. It's a very a lot of credit. It's about they're a very good team, and I think they'll have a very good chance on uh, on Saturday against Bournemouth. Um, I also wanted to say that you know I thought um, the girls from South Shore fought till the end. Um, we played as hard as we could, and uh, I'm just really happy with uh, the way we played. But I want to give the credit to the team that won. Okay, let's open it up for some questions. You had some of your bad turnovers that you talk about led directly to points for them that kind of got them, got a little separation for them early on. Yeah, um, you know, the turnovers are, you know, we knew coming in that they were going to pressure, they were going to run some different traps and some different uh, presses, and we had worked on, um, you know, the press breaker and, and just, you know, spacing and, and those type of things, and, you know, every, you know we'd throw, turn and throw the pass and pass and get deflected and then lead them off to the races. Um, you know, overall, throughout the game, you know, we had, I would say, you know, maybe 70% of the time we handled it okay. And then the other 30% are turned into what, what you're asking about, which is the breakaway layups. And the because I, I, I felt in the first half, especially, when we were actually able to set back in our defense, we actually held them to, um, you know, a pretty good amount. A lot of their baskets came in transition through through our turnovers in the backcourt. Um, congratulations on a good season, and um, I got, you guys must have felt pretty good with Gina Grunhofer getting those two early fouls. Um, just talk, but you weren't really able to capitalize on her necessarily being out of the game, and some of their um, less prolific scorers kind of stepped up in her absence. So just talk a little bit about that—the beginning of the game like that. Yeah, they did. You know, actually, she they called the they blew the whistle, and I didn't know who the foul was on. And then all of a sudden, I was asking the assistant coach where thirty-two was. She goes, she's the one that picks up the second foul. I go, oh, okay. Well, you know, the reality is is that, you know, she's she's a very good player. And so, um, but they have uh, another 6-1 girl that's also a very good player. And so, a lot of times when you follow a 6-2 girl, or, you know, get a 6-2 girl in foul trouble, it, it does not, uh, it usually allows you to open up the post a little bit more. But they did, they did he did a great job of, uh, you know, moving Skir Skirba over to that spot. And... Um, that other girl that came in, uh, 44, she did a good job in the post. And uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, you know, with the early fall trouble on their, on their post players, we weren't able to take advantage of it because we were having a heck of a time trying to handle their guards. Um, I, I guess everybody had a glimpse of Megan's game today, but you know, up north, not a lot of people do. What, what kind of career did she really have, and then what was her game? Megan had a... Uh, her career, four years of uh, being a great teammate, four years of playing hard every second, four years of uh, getting pushed around uh, by other teams, by getting beat up inside, being a post player, um, and four years of, of scoring and passing and shooting. And uh, you know, I, I, I feel very honored to have a chance to coach Megan here. Um, She's a great player. She put on the history of the state of Wisconsin, just not just the numbers, but just um, of the caliber of player that she is. Any other questions? Um, for Megan, how would you kind of sum up your, your career? And obviously, you'd like to, to win today, but you know, those numbers, you know, maybe might, might touch them again. Yeah, it's been a really fun ride. I mean, being with these girls has been amazing, and we played really hard to the end. I was really proud of our girls, especially in the second half. I mean, we played our hardest. We could have um, put our head down and not played, but we did. Uh, we put our heads up, and we kept playing, and we played our hardest, and I'm really proud of that. And two years ago, we made it down here. It was really fun being with my sister, and today she was watching, so that makes it all more special. This is from Megan. You were held to 10 points in the first half, which I'm sure usually doesn't happen. Uh, what opened up a little bit more for you in the second half? And if you can touch on what the assumption did to kind of keep you in check in that first half. Yeah, sure. Um, in Division 5, there aren't a lot of tall people, especially two. 
So I got into some early foul trouble, and a lot of the post players did today. So I just try to keep my composure and try to look for our teammates. And second half, I was like, you know what? We can do this. You know, we can come back. And I just wanted to play hard for my teammates. And you know, this could have been my last game, which it was. And I wanted to play my best for them. Seeing no other questions, thanks for coming. I had a great year. Thank you.